Yeah, how lovely is that? We have a little disco party going on in here now. Holy shit, that worked. Mamma mia, Luigi. I'm just so sick of fucking tired of the government. It's just sort of adding to the capacity of the power grid. Get that shit out of my face. Send it up into space. You people in your newfangled conveyor belts. Back in my day, we used to manually pick up the ore and carry it wherever we went. Uphill, both ways. What, Pa? Shut the fuck up, son. Your old my life was bad and so is yours. It's gonna be if you don't respect your elders. Gamers and gamettes, today we finish phase two and hopefully much more. What do we fucking need, boys? We need more module of uh, steel beams. That's what I meant to say. Uh, this machine's currently working on the versatile framework. And we still need 500 smart plates, so I'm going to set up a little machine for that here as well. Back in my day, you used to have to actually walk to power plant, Schmelko. You kids don't know how good you've got it now. I feel like a parent now. I just heard one of the cats crying in the hallway and I, I'm like, all right. Did one of them get into something? Are they dying or do they just want attention? Yeah, when I was growing up, if I cried for my mom, she'd beat the shit out of me. All right, Grandpa, take your meds. Shut the fuck up or else I'll make you. I trained in the Vietnam War. When it comes time for the next phase, obviously I'm going to remove all of these. This is basically just to get me there. But if you're wondering how it works, I just chuck in these iron ore here and it has a basic production line that'll make me. So at the end of this production line, the rotors and smart plates merge together here to make our smart plating. And you can see it will merge into our conveyor belt that takes it over here to our space elevator. And that's already working now. For the versatile framework, you can see that it requires modular frames and steel beams. Or since I haven't automated steel, I do have to go grab some coal and uh, bring it back for the steel beams. But if I throw steel beams into this one and just put iron ore into this one, then we're making the versatile frameworks at the end of this production belt here. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and complete phase two. What I'm going to do now is probably something to get more coal and more uh, steel beams going, because I think that's going to be the bottleneck. Wahoo! Yippee! Wah! Oof! One of the great things about this game, though, is that you can really just play it however you want. So... Most of my gameplay can just be directed at, you know, making things neat and the way that I want them to be. Oh, I put a lot of faith into that little spring. It was like two fucking inches deep. So the solution I will go come to basically just for now as a temporary is get some coal, bring it out here goes down this little bridge anyway past the power tower down here we got a little section I just built real quick that's gonna smelt us some steel ingots you can see it's already going and it's pumping uh, iron from over here pumping irons just like me at the gym you know bros fellow gym bros any fellow gym bros in the chat I'm just kidding I not been to the gym in a while. It's hard to believe I know. Let me just zoop up a little wall blueprint here. As a wise man once said, don't zoop unless you boop. Alright, concrete. Wall blueprint. Big. One thing I learn every time I play this game is that once you think you're building big enough, you need to build way fucking bigger. And honestly, those two little baby factories might not be cutting it, so I think I'm going to work on a big boy factory for... It's going to be an iron factory because uh, I still haven't 
really got that under control. And that's a little ridiculous, I think. So let's see what we can do with some blueprints and try to make something that looks nice. Or at the very least, functions well. Because uh, my current buildings really, they don't have enough room. They're just messy. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, you know? All right, I also got a blueprint for a large central bus. I don't know if we'll ever need this, but this is a shit ton of conveyor belts. Maybe we'll slam that baby down in a factory at some point in the future. I realize now that we're actually going to need something like thousands of steel beams, so I was probably a major fool for trying to manually do that by bringing the coal everywhere. Let's check on how our steel production's doing down here. Awesome. Okay, I mean it's not a lot, but you know it's better than it's better than what we were doing. So yeah, I still need something like four thousand steel beams, and I just got like five hundred. So it might be more of an ordeal to complete phase two than I thought. I mean, you can see that we're chugging along, but I thought I would give you a little insight into how I'm working on this biomass. Uh, burner building so I'm creating rows and rows and they're gonna be have a little walkways between them that you can walk through I need some more wire real quick so as you know in satisfactory you cannot automatically input biomass into the biomass burners <clears throat> I think that's a developer's way to force you to automate your power but on the off chance that I have some kind of grid failure or I just need to draw more power I think it might be cool to use some of the biomass that I'm making in the biomass building over here. Uh, use it for some energy. So this is what this farm's gonna be. As you see, you can actually place railing on top of these pillars, which is nice. Cause that's what we're gonna do. Oh, fell into the pit. That's what we're trying to prevent. Don't want any fucking lawsuits, you know? Workplace safety is important. You can block off the rest of it with these road barriers. Mamma mia! I need some spicy fucking Italian meatballs! Jesus Christ! Mother Mary and Joseph! Does anyone else have this headcanon that Mario is actually like a Roman Catholic? Like seriously devout. Princess Abijo, what the fuck did you just say about the Lord? Holy shit, it's a me, Mario. I'm a fucking princess. That's what I do best. Wahoo! Slam the turtle and smash the puss. Alright, sorry. Cut that out. He's got 38 degrees in fucking. Alright, I need to upgrade all these to Mark II wall outlets. And we should be able to hook all these bad boys right up. There may have been a minor miscalculation. But that's no biggie, we can just fix that real quick. No, don't ask me what went wrong. No, I don't want to talk about it. Alright, I'll come back and spruce this place up later, but this is the basic little biomass burner building. Nice little alliteration there. Anyway, so if I come over here, grab a bunch of these, just go right next door. And um, yeah, you can see it's kind of bare bones still, but I want to do catwalks and stuff, but we still haven't unlocked them. But uh, here's the power switch. Currently it's not connected, but let's just go ahead and chuck all this fuel in. It might take me a minute. That's the purpose of these catwalks is so that it's supposed to be easy to access all the fuel. You can see it's starting to go up like a ladder here. It's nice. So a little bit of fun facts. This is, as you can see, six rows of five biomass burners each. They're all hooked up. Each one can burn four biofuel per minute. It can hold 200 total and can produce 300 mega, or sorry, 30 megawatts. So you can see total this whole facility can produce, can uh, use up 120 biofuel per minute. It can hold 6,000 just within the burners and it can produce 900 megawatts, which funny enough actually is about as much as my coal generators. 
right now. So this little facility is theoretically doubling my energy output, but I don't really want to have to rely on it. So that's why it's only going to really activate when I need to. So let's go ahead and flip that switch and watch that turn on. Yep. And there you go. You can see our capacity has increased to 1800 megawatts. We are producing 900 in our coal generator facility and 900 in our biomass facility. Although, like I said, this isn't really going to use fuel unless I really need it to, which is nice. It's just sort of adding to the capacity of the power grid. Here at the temporary factory, I've just rebuilt and remodeled our iron production, so we're making quite a lot more. Oh my god, good golly, gosh, dang darn it. Holy heck, in a hand basket. Mother Freaker, double H-E, hop, hockey. <clears throat> Yo, I need to overcharge this smart plate production. We're not going fast enough. Throw in some more. Go, go, go. Four per minute. We're still going on the frameworks. We are almost at 400 out of 500. Let's go, we're so close. Mamma mia, Luigi. I'm so sick of fucking tired of the government trying to get into my fucking life. Why are you always going to talk about politics, brother? It's our fucking future, Luigi. The future of our fucking children. Not this again. I'm sorry, you Luigi. It's just... I haven't had a sex in so long. I don't know why I didn't unlock the parachute earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm also going to unlock an extra hand equipment slot. Oh, I can do this too. Wow, we're just fucking getting all kinds of things today. I can also go ahead and unlock the smart splitter. That'll be useful for our factory designs. All right, it's time to wrap up phase two. I'm getting impatient. All right, leap of faith. Well, you can see I've completed the versatile framework requirement. Uh, unfortunately, that had the unintended consequence of plugging up my little conveyor here. Anyway, you can see we are rapidly approaching completion of phase two. I've, so I've just been working on this multi-purpose assembler. Last episode, you saw me make a multi-purpose constructor blueprint. Well, this one is very similar, but I've made it double layered, which is nice. On the second floor up here, you can see the inputs come up here, and then they start splitting off into all the assemblers. And we have little lights hooked up. Here's where the power gets up to the second floor. Yeah, pretty neat. And then right here, you can uh, just basically you hook up your power grid to A, flip it on, and then you change your sign and all your outputs come from here, and if you use the second floor, they'll also come from up there, which you can you can merge them if you want to, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save this. You may be a Sigma male, but I'm a Smegma male. And that's better by at least 10%. And with that, I think this ugly ass building has served its purpose. Um, I'm gonna make something better for the next phase, obviously. I learned my lesson. I don't really feel that bad tearing down an ugly ass, pointless building like this. Jeez, that sounds kind of harsh. Well, I guess I know what it's like being like a father now. Maybe that's why my dad always sounded like that. Mm, get off my blueprint, designer! <laughs> You motherfucker, my dad works at Satisfactory. Oh, I think that's it, guys. Yeah, I think I have all that I need now. Oh my god. This is it. The big moment. The smackaroo. The Jim Jams is here. The hoedown, the hullabaloo. We're loading, we're sealing. Get that shit out of my face. Send it up into space. And give me tier five and six, please. Get this present out of there. It looks awful. Kaplooey.
Bye bye. Have a nice journey. Well, let's take a peek at what we got in tier five and six. We're going into oil processing, gas mask, and of course, trains, jetpacks, fuel generators. Oh, how exciting. All right, guys, I can't sleep, so I'm up playing with Hyperloops, and I made this little Hyperloop blueprint. And when I tested it, something so extraordinary happened, I just had to record it. Let me show you this real quick. All right, now we're gaining some speed. Now I just transfer into the tube onto the left, and I should go flying. If I uh, just transfer, can I transfer? No, I can't, because it doesn't work. I'm stuck forever. I'm in gay baby jail. Also, uh, epilepsy warning, Jesus. Uh, I think I must have reached terminal velocity by now. So I'm afraid there's only one way out. And you can see we got some distance there. Not bad at all. I'll give that like a 9.5 out of 10. Alright, revised hyperloop test. Let's try this out. No, I'm not an expert, but it appears I've fucked up. Holy shit. Holy shit, that worked, guys. Ah! Oh, I died. That's unfortunate. You know what might be useful for this? Uh, let's get a parachute. I think I forgot to do that earlier. There we go. Slap that puppy on my back. Now, if we go flying, we shouldn't fucking die. Oh, that's how it's done, guys. We have never seen the world like this before. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, it's really freeing. I feel liberated. I think I found my new favorite thing. I'm a paratrooper. Get fucked. I own the skies. Oh, we can do it? What? Thank you. Didn't expect to just get that free one. Freebie. Thanks for all the circuit boards. So the way this works is that you hook it up to some power and this is a junction. So if you hold A or D to go left or right, you can choose which one of these hyperloops Excuse me, sir. You choose which one of these hyperloops you can go through. So, as I go through, the, the only unfortunate thing is that you'll slow down if you press D while you're on this part of the junction. So you kind of have to time it. There's a little bit of a uh, timing involved, but let's just test it out and see if we can just fly over to the power plant. Yep. That was pretty effortless. Wonderful. I love this game. Why is it so good, guys? <laughs> that is so nice. Oh, I kept my momentum, too, when I landed on the fucking power line. That's insane. I've got a grand big old turd, gotta shit it tonight.
Gonna let my turd loose, gonna let it shine. Gonna let my turd shine, yeah, yeah. Gonna let it go. Uh, uh, excuse me. All right, we're tearing down the old tea factory here. Don't need this anymore, or rather, I'm gonna build it back better than ever. Just you wait. Over here, I'm automating some AI limiters, which are pretty simple to make, but they give you a ton of points in the sink. I really want to collect some points so that I can get shit to make these uh, buildings a little bit nicer. I still need to get ramp walls. That's going to be four tickets. All right. Now well, that's done. I've made a multi-purpose little storage unit that we can just chuck down anywhere now. And I'm thinking about making this area around here for storage. Wow, look how tiny the power plant looks from up here. Wow, we need to make that much more impressive, don't we? we go ahead and put a little basic hyperloop blueprint here at the power plant. That way I can get home super quick. Oh shit, I bonked my head on a gift. Coming in hot. I fucking own the skies now, bitches. Isn't nature beautiful? And please, never come inside my factory again. <clears throat> Edit that out. I swear to God, how did this motherfucker get back in? Alright, I guess you're stuck in here forever. Alright gamers, take a look at my storage facility. Isn't it nice? Yes, yeah, quite extensive. Much better than those uh, two crates I had over there that were storing all my items. Oh, it's a little dark, isn't it? Let's go ahead and boom. Yeah, that's right. Haha. -ha. Although I think I should probably put something in the middle here. It looks a little empty. Um, yeah, basically, you can even access them just standing on the other side of the railing. I'm just going to fill them all up with specific items and it'll be like my personal storage. I've decided that this whole factory complex is going to be Spork Construction Incorporated and this will be the facility that will enable us to construct our factories across the entire map as needed. At long last I can afford ramp walls, that is always good. And I would love to get quarter pipes. Uh, there's still so much more that I want but we're just producing tickets. You know, not fast enough, basically. Alright, I've added a sink now, so that if there's anything excess that we don't want in the storage, we can chuck it into either of these two bins. Uh, this is just to make sure that everything gets put in as fast as possible, basically. I feel like I need one more light, so let me throw that one there. Lights are also adjustable for each section, as you can see. You can go ahead and make this one blue, or what have we. I'll just go ahead and choose some nice primary colors. Yeah, how lovely is that? We have a little disco party going on in here now. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. It's silly, but... But so am I. But yeah, baby! Look at his ass poking out, you motherfucker. Thank goodness for concrete, am I right, fellas? I have something of a cement addiction myself. Oh, I can go ahead and pick up this yellow power shard research. And I can get that one too, I just need to grab these. Alright. Wonderful, and that is our first section of the MAM uh, entirely complete. 
That feels good. So I'm planning for this large building to be something of a skyscraper. So maybe I'll make it a little bit taller. Let's get a nice little view overhead real quick. Yeah, lovely. So been trying to keep things more neat and tidy. Separated into buildings and such. I think probably the storage building might be our greatest accomplishment for this episode. That's just a, a mile, a million times improvement compared to what we had, you know? Before I go though, the very last action I will do is going ahead and unlocking oil processing for us. This is going to unlock so many avenues for us and we're going to be able to generate a lot more power pretty soon. So that's 50 motors, 100 reinforced concrete, and all this steel pipe, and wha-bam! We did it, gamers. Milestone reached. Oil, Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil-based Oil -based products can now be made by products of Yeah, yeah. So now we have oil extractors and refineries. That's huge. So next episode, we'll be in exploring that. All right, gamers. One more Hyperloop pass and then... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm addicted. This is... Okay, I forgot. This is probably also one of my favorite things we did this episode. All right, gamers. Hope you have a fantastic one and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Team Rocket's blasting off again.